Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is the Ammo Man. Welcome to another episode of Ammo Man Senpai. We're back with another episode. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a weekly Q and A segment that I do, where I answer the questions that you guys ask over on Twitter using the hashtag Answer Me Senpai. We're leaving in the comment section of the previous Answer Me Senpai episode, which I left in the description below. Last Answer Me Senpai, you guys got me to almost forty-five thousand likes. Like, what the fuck? So apparently now the secret to answer me, Senpai, is to do all the stupid shit that you guys asked me to do. Let's not hope I, uh, die in this episode. But without further ado... Smother. Smother. Let's get going. What do you do in your free time? Jacking Hi Joey, do you like Asian horror films? If so, can you tell us some of your favorite? Well, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of horror movies in general because I'm a little pussy. But I think one of the scariest Japanese horror films that I've ever seen was the Attack on Titan live action movie. That was just... that, that movie was just horrific. Joey, where will the monk go at? Well, burnt cheese, I can only tell you one thing. That's not how you spell mango. If your dick was an anime character, who would it be? Krillin. What happened to your Honey Pop series? I can't find it. Well, Philip, I think you should be asking that question to YouTube. Am I right? YouTube community guidelines? What's the secret to Twitter? I mean, really, I'm asking. Post pictures of anime boobs and then every now and then post something like stupidly motivational. Instant retweets. How do I ask a girl out? The anime way. Senpai, um, I, I, I really daisuke you and I, I, I want you to be my, my kadeshi, and, and I want everything to be Wait a second, I, I, oh wait, I, I misread that as weeaboo way, sorry. Why are you such a pussy destroyer? Because I'm allergic to cats. If I don't destroy them, then they're eventually gonna destroy me. Could you please do the ice and salt challenge? I know it's old, but pretty please. Oh, I fucking oh, hate this anime, it's such fuck, bullshit, such eh? like, ice, bro. like, seriously, like, like, how can people defend this oh, anime? Dude, it's I so fucking, fucking garbage, uh, uh, and I, I, I just hate it. it. I don't remember that challenge ever catching on. Why, no matter how hard I stare the TV remote, it won't come flying into my hand. Well, probably because you don't know how to speak English. And second of all, it's because you're not concentrating enough. Will you go to Shirakawago, the Hinamizawa village that Higurashi no Nakoroni is based on in the future? Yes, absolutely. I love Higurashi no Nakoroni and I actually do want to try and go to more places that like anime, I guess, took reference from like in their specific anime. That sentence made no sense. But if you guys haven't seen in the past, I did go to the town that Clanad is based off and I also recently visited the town that Anohana is based off. So if you want to check out both of those vlogs, then I've left them in the description. But yeah, there are a lot of other places like the Higurashi village and also all all sorts of other places that I have seen on the internet which I definitely want to make some time to go and check out so yeah that might come in the future so stay tuned. How was it like living alone? I'll have to admit it is pretty scary especially since I weirdly don't feel like I'm living alone. Since you've been living in Japan, do you watch anime online or on the TV more? I've been wondering for a while. Well, I honestly have been watching so far like the anime that is airing online, or rather not at all because I have hardly started anything from this season. But if there are reruns on TV that I just happen to find, then I usually sit back and watch those because it's always nice to, I guess, watch a rerun. I have actually been watching the original DBZ, which have, have been doing reruns on TV recently, so that's always a nice nostalgia kick. Cannibal don't eat clowns because they taste funny? Well, to answer your question, are you having a stroke? Joey, I had French, German, English, and Dutch growing up. How was it for you to grow up with multiple languages as a kid? Well, I grew up with just English and Japanese, so I was born bilingual. I'm not quadlingual like you are, which is pretty freaking impressive. But I always tell people that Japanese is more of my second first language rather than my second language because I learned Japanese while I was living or growing up in Australia at the same time that I was learning English. At one point, I was actually better at Japanese than I was at English, so it's kind of hard for me to say that Japanese was a second language for me. But yeah, it was always interesting because people who would only understand English or only understand Japanese when I would talk to other kids who grew up exactly like me, because there were a lot of like childhood friends who did grow up like that. It'd be weird because we would talk in both English and Japanese at the same time. Like we would switch around back and forth between English and Japanese, but we would able to still hold a normal conversation. And to someone who doesn't know English or doesn't know Japanese, just one or the other, that sounds really fucking weird. And so yeah, the fact that I never actually like catch myself like talking like that and just happens naturally, especially when talking to 
people who are bilingual like me, it's really interesting actually. Have you watched or do you plan on watching Koino Katachi? If you have already, what were your thoughts on it? I haven't watched Koino Katachi, but I'm really, really wanting to watch Koino Katachi. It just looks like an amazing movie and it actually has done very, very well commercially from what I have heard within the past week. And just, I've read the manga and it is just so beautiful and just, I am so hyped for it. What anime quote inspires you the most? It would have to be one of the most memorable quotes from Angel Beats. That being, good chance and luck. What are TV ads like in Japan? They're all right. All right, let's move on to the YouTube comments. What's a good way to find anime fans near me? I have no one to talk to about anime with. Well, it's really easy. All you have to do is just grab an anime plushie. It can be anything. It could be Sasuke, for example. Just walk around with this Sasuke plushie wherever you go. And if a person comes up to you and says, oh my God, I fucking love Naruto. And what you do is you smile, take the plushie and beat him over the head because nobody likes that show. What do you think of Bleach's ending? He wanted to drink it. <laughs> what kind of mic do you use for your videos or what would you recommend? Uh, I wouldn't recommend the mic that I'm using right now because the microphone on this camera right here uh, is it's really garbage. I actually want to buy like a proper DSLR with a proper microphone just so I can up the audio quality in my videos but uh, yeah I haven't been able to find a good camera or microphone yet so my advice to you is don't use the microphone on this camera that I'm using right now. Get yourself a proper microphone. Do you ever plan to get married to a real girl? Does Shinobu count? Could you make a Senpai Makes a Dare video where I accept all our dares? Sorry for my pick that. Wait, wait. You are going to accept all of our dares? Oh, okay then. Everybody write down your dares so that Eminem Minem can do all of your dares. I'm looking forward to that video. From 1 to 10, what's your favorite color of the alphabet? 7. You said 1 to 10. Imagine you meet a girl who is as pervy as you, has similar anime taste to yours, and similar music taste to yours. She's also not bad looking. Would you consider marrying her? But there's a catch. She's 10 years older than you. Uh, hell the fuck yeah I would. Again, this is just my philosophy on everything, but if you get something as petty as age, get between the person you like and the societal norms, whatever the fuck that may be, then you're just a child. How has watching anime affected you? Negatively. Act out two weeaboos getting married. Today we have gathered here today to see Miss Weeby Johnson and Mr. Kirito Johnson. Konnichiwa. In the most weeaboo infested wedding to ever fall on this earth. Datebayo. Mrs. Weeb Anderson, do you take this fucking filthy weeb, to be a lawfully wedded husband of- Oh my god, so sugoi kawaii desu! And do you, Mr. Kirito Johnson, take this weep thing as your lawfully wedded wife? Naruto-san, I knew from day ichi that she was the Onanako for Watashi. There is no Onanako that is more Sugoi than her. And Watashi know that we will be Isho for the rest of our Inochi. I don't know what the fuck he just said, but let's just say that uh, uh, both of you believe it. Yeah, yeah, you, you believe it. Yeah, yeah, you believe it. Datebayo. <laughs> Okay. Drink beer in three seconds. Okay, I have my beer. Let's uh... Let's drink this in three seconds. Ready? Start the timer. One, two, three. That was delicious. You didn't say how much. You black? No. You're not so black either, Daddy. I don't like your fingers. Too bad, here they are. If you could send to your past self a letter like an orange, what would you say to yourself? Dear Joey, it's me, 10 years in the future. I'm doing YouTube, having fun, 
got a great pair of friends to hang out with, and life is pretty much good. You'll still be in school, so you'll have no idea what's going on, but just remember to stay in school. Keep learning, keep studying, keep learning new things, because in the end, it's really gonna help you to create a bright future. Stay awesome. How do you like your coffee or tea? Well, I like my coffee or tea like I like my women. Without a penis. What's your least favorite part about being a YouTuber? Honestly, I think my least favorite part about being a YouTuber or just YouTubers in general is the fucking popularity contest that goes on. I'm more popular than you because I have more subscribers than you. Like that mentality of I am more popular or I am better than you because of this retarded numbers game that's going on. I really hate that. Sub count doesn't fucking matter. Just because you have more subscribers doesn't make you a better person. It's not a competition. Just enjoy making videos. No one is better or worse than anybody. They're just different. Please talk Turkish. I love you, Joey Summer. Gobble, 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 gobble. Can you drink a glass of soy sauce? I want to see you throw up. <laughs> oh, no, thank you, man. I'll be doing more than throwing up. Clickbait title. Yeah, welcome to YouTube 2016, Shady Yonic. Watching this from my bra. I have some questions. Well guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Answer Me Senpai. Thanks to all the people who asked questions. And if I didn't get to answer your questions, then I might answer it in the next episode. So, if you did enjoy this Answer Me Senpai, make sure to slap a like so that we can get maybe even more likes than the last episode. Let's try and break that record, shall we? Or if you'd like to ask a question, then leave them on Twitter using the hashtag Answer Me Senpai. Leave them in the comment section of this video if you can't be fucked to make a Twitter or you don't have one. The sponsor for today's episode is... I don't have one. That's a, that's a first. And now that I don't have a sponsor for this video, I don't know how to end this episode. Um, you, you guys like anime? Anyways guys, thanks for watching. As always, like and favorite if you enjoy. Subscribe for more anime banner, and I'll see you guys next video of whatever I make.